Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Fillers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2019 Winnebago Micro Mini 2108 FPS. Uh, Micro Mini, 7 foot wide, it's an incredibly narrow trailer, uh, but it doesn't feel small on the inside. This one is 22 foot 5 inch overall length and uh, it weighs 3,900 pounds. So the Micro Mini lines are very much like by people that wants to really hit the road and and not be uh, weighed down by a bigger trailer. Uh, they're loaded with features, so let's not waste any time and get started on those. So at the front, we have an electric tongue jacks with an LED lights. Stone guard. Around the corner here. Pass-through storage, slam latch handle, incorporated magnetic holder. There is an LED lights as well in it. And a battery disconnect, let me just turn on the light. Uh, Maybe, maybe not at this point. We'll try on the other side, but there's a battery disconnect right at the end. Enclosed and heated on the belly. Rain gutters and spout extension. Electric awning with LED light. A new door this year, friction hinge. So you don't need to tie it down. And the screen doors self-close itself. Pretty nice little unit, actually. I really like those doors. Foldable entry handle. This one came with pretty much the only option they give us for the Micro Mini called the off-road package. So we have a little bit more ground clearance. We have bigger wheels, different tires, and a different set of aluminum wheels. Uh, it's pretty nice. Really like it. And so is the customers. <laughs> uh, gas electric water heater. Outside speakers. Roof ladder. Your spare tire. We're ready for a backup camera. Around the back where everything belongs, really. Detachable power cord, hot and cold outside shower, black tank flush, your water connection, satellite and cable hookups, and there's your outlets with color-coded uh, sewer valve handles, which by the way, folks, the valves are at the tank, so in the underbelly, heated. Uh, double wiper seals under slide out. Uh, ah. Nothing's missing on the outside. Let's take a look inside. So this floor plan, folks, comes in two configurations. The FBS for a permanent queen size bed and the DS for a uh, Murphy bed. This is the FBS. You get your permanent walk around queen size bed. It is 60 by 74, so it's an RV queen. Uh, there is gas ruts underneath to have access to your storage owner. Uh, the bed base is made out of plywood and so is our floor, folks. It's built like a, like your house. Floor trusses, 16 inch on center and deck with 5.8 uh, plywood tongue and groove. Um, it's the best way of manufacturing a trailer. We have a shirt closet on this side and they left the other side open for a night table, but more important, a power outlet and a USB outlet. So perfect for the people that need to bring a CPAC machine or an, an alarm clock. Uh, a little bit of storage above. There is two very large window in the bedroom area. That is something they changed a couple years ago and uh, customers really like that. There's plenty of ventilation, both of them open. There's also a roof vent there. Uh, talking about vents, our AC is ducted and it comes with a closable vent. So that's an upgrade we don't normally see on a lot of the product out there so and there's two at the front so the best possible ventilation they also provide you with a privacy curtain which is kind of nice if you want to it's a small trailer you gotta keep it in mind 22 foot 5 is a little short of 19 foot of box length but yet you can still get a little privacy with the curtain uh, this is a twist this is a newer floor plan from last year uh, it comes from the 2106 the 2106 has a sofa here but some customers were requesting a booth, so they did it. 2108 was born, and instead of a sofa, you get the booth. Uh, that goes down and converts into an extra sleeping arrangement, and you got storage underneath both benches. Uh, big window in the back, talking about windows. All of our windows come with pleated chains except for the one in the kitchen. It would be a fire hazard and pretty hard to clean when you do dishes. Um, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary right here, connected to your 28-inch flat-screen TV. There is a little bit of storage above, and you can use the bottom as a pantry. It's actually quite deep. Uh, there is a power outlet in the corner there as well. We have a thermostat for the AC and the heat. 
full-size fridge. Normally those smaller trailer folks will come with uh, smaller appliances, smaller fridge, two burner stove, no oven, single sink, not here. Yes, it is tight, but everything is there. You get a, a regular size fridge, you get a three burner stove with an igniter and a gas oven. You also get your microwave above, your range hood which is vented outside, and your double sink. Uh, sink cover, and this year, Winnebago introduced a little grill so you can still use the tap while you uh, you can set your hot pots on it. A little bit of storage below and our drawers, plywood made, ball bearing, the whole drawer comes right out. A little bit of storage above and the hidden all of the switches for the lights as well as your, uh, as your uh, panel, monitor panel and uh, slide out and awning right behind this little uh, door. It's nice and tidy and clean. Uh, there is a kitchen extension to help you out a little bit and as far as kitchen is concerned that's pretty much it the bathroom now again on a smaller trailer like that you would think the bathroom be extremely small but not in this one 30 by 36 shower it comes with a curtain there is a skylight there's a shower liner it's perfect a foot flush toilet they angle the cabinet here to give us a little bit of extra room and the, uh, the sink in the bathroom is actually a decent size often they're very small uh, it's hard to brush your teeth but not here it's actually the, and there's a little bit of counter there's a medicine cabinet there's a little bit of storage below and there is a hanging closet with a shelf and there's even a cabinet on the bottom where you can stock some extra footwear if you want or stuff that you may not use as often so all in all, folks, uh, we got to keep that in mind. Seven foot wide, this thing tucked in pretty nicely behind a tow vehicle. It's 22 foot 5 inch, 3,900 pounds. This says, take me places. And you know what? Why don't you take me along with it? Folks, I think we're done. It. Thanks for watching.